is pouring rain. They serve food on the train. This amazing Airbnb. A fluffy bed. We wanted to eat here so bad, we even came back in the rain. Fish steak covered in mango. Instagram heaven. What about your eyes? Dale like and subscribe. Avocado ice cream. It's the return of the Big Mac Challenge. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're at the Danang train station waiting for our train to Natrang. It's been a little bit delayed, but that lovely sign over there will keep us updated. And also, it is pouring rain. Good day to travel. Good day to travel on a train. Yes. They serve food on the train, and we had to try it. We got rice, chicken, and tofu. It was 40,000 dong, which is about a dollar seven. There's sweet potato cooked in a coconut sauce, tofu. Oh, almost lost it. <laughs> oh, this is really, really good. So glad we tried this. We have a new friend sitting over here named Hannah, and she helped us order. She's a little camera shy. It's really cool how many people, especially the kids, just come out and try to help us everywhere. It's really neat. I actually like them. I'm not sure the taste. Well, it's lobster and golden salt and egg sauce. Okay, good, good, good. Probably should show you this amazing Airbnb. The bathroom is huge. It has this big bathtub, which we will never use, but it's great for putting your stuff on. Washing machine, gigantic galley kitchen. You pay for a water bottle and they deliver it. A giant couch you can really stretch out on. A fluffy bed. But the best part is a view from the balcony. And we get to use the beach chairs. All of this for $33 a night. My first visit to Nha Trang was in 1999, and it was a vastly different experience. The airport was more of a small airfield, which we arrived at via an old prop plane. And while photography was prohibited, I did manage to snap this shot. Oh no, you didn't! Pedal-powered rickshaws were much more prevalent than motorized vehicles. The first rickshaw driver we hired ended up living in his rickshaw in front of our hotel for the entire week just to make sure he never missed us. Today, Nha Trang boasts a large international airport and has grown from a sleepy fishing village to an international beach resort destination. Today, the streets of Nha Trang are still filled with rickshaws, but they are battery-powered, complete with LED lights and sound systems. Not much pedaling going on these days. I have a love for these places where you pick and point. They're fantastic all over the world. But we need to come earlier next time. This one's closed. Missed it by that much. Surprise, surprise, we opted for fun. That broth is fantastic. We wanted to eat here so bad, we even came back in the rain. This place is fantastic. The meat is juicy. This uh, ginger chicken is fantastic. And so are, I think these are morning glories. I really love this place. <laughs> All for $180,000, which is like $7. That's actually for three meals. Chris got a fish steak covered in mango. Oh, the um, spicy sauce on it is just enough spice with ginger. That's really good. Can't pass up an after breakfast coffee. Oh, that's one of the best, better coffees I've had here. That's really good. It's really good, is it? Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> I saw this really old pagoda and it piqued my interest, so we're gonna go find it. This beautiful boardwalk runs all along the beach. are nice. 10,000 dong a piece. They use reusable plastic cards instead of paper tickets.
This place is Instagram heaven, built between the 7th and 12th century. It's nice sitting in the shade. It's pretty hot today. True, what is hot? I told you game. Were you born on the sun? And the humidity is really high. That's nice if you're with a lady, but it ain't no good if you're in the jungle. Hello, everyone. Um, what, what should I say? Okay. Sorry. I'm Yuna, and this is... I'm Valentina. I'm from Chile. I'm from Vietnam. Nice to meet all you guys. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Dale like and subscribe. Come catch <laughs> This was 40 cents a piece, well worth it. It's beautiful, it was fun. One thing before we leave Vietnam that I wanted to try was the avocado ice cream. And we found the place. Okay. Avocado ice cream. bunch of countries that haven't had and I haven't had a Big Mac. This is my first one in a long time. I shouldn't have taken such a big bite. <laughs> All the portions are perfect. I would give this a 9.5. This is a really good one. Oh, what's that over there? A fry piece. <laughs> this is only in Vietnam. But this is the best kept secret for a cheap meal. It's a crispy chicken patty. The one that comes right off of their spicy chicken sandwich. It costs like 30 cents, $10,000. So, you know, get one of those if you're hungry. We like to walk on the beach in the mornings. That's when the water is calm and clear. The beach looks really nice, but there's one problem. We're really enjoying our time here, but we've got to be honest about things. Every day around noon, the wind starts blowing in and it brings in a lot of garbage. We have found hypodermic needles, thankfully not with our feet. That's a problem. In the morning it's a lot better. The wind that's coming in, it blows in this kind of brown funk and the water goes from this nice clear to kind of brown. So that's a thing. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>